Hello and welcome to more games of Arena, including Eddie. Eddie playing in blue as the Vikings and today not against Stout, we saw six games, but against the Viper playing in yellow is favorite color. Also as the Vikings we have random mirror matches as far as I know. Don't think both have picked Vikings and for now it's a Vikings war here on Arena. Should be interesting to see. We've seen Eddie play very very good against Stout. Uh, it's a totally different story against Viper because Viper is in top form, top shape as far as I know. Don't think he has any problems right now. Doubt hasn't been uh, playing too much in the last, let's say, half year uh, or year while Viper is always uh, in the games, always playing or almost always. And I think uh, one problem, in, and those games were casted actually Viper against Eddie, but one big problem for players is when you play against Viper, you know he's the favorite, uh, he's the best player out there. And almost everybody is saying is respecting Viper and is saying, yeah, Viper is one of the best players in the world, maybe the best. So you need to concentrate 100% of the time and uh, you need uh, to make sure that you don't make any mistakes, which is really, really uh, hard against the Viper because he's that, that strong. Let's see how Eddie is going to perform. And we're starting with the map here. We can see a second goal, second stone, the back from Eddie's base. Uh, two Boris on the back here, they are inside, which is good for Eddie. Main goal to the front, but on the far and a third gold also on this front here outside of the walls might be an important area if the Viper manages to push. Mm, knowing Eddie, I think Viper maybe wants to stay defensive on a Vikings war. It's not a monk war or anything. So we might see Eddie push here and uh, Viper stay defensive for a little time. Eddie should be able to take this goal without too much of a problem. There's a relic close here as well. And we're missing the main storm, which is on the front here, a little bit closer to Viper's map. And the distance between them is really, really uh, uh, little, small, I don't know. Um, there is three deer for Eddie, I think. Maybe it was four. Oh, it's actually four deer, and he's pushed two already. He's going to go for the other two as well. Oh, looking good for him right now. He's only now going for the berries. Prefer to get the deer first. Um, Eddie should be... Uh, uh, Mm, how do we call it? It's in, he knows how to play it, so he shouldn't have any problems with uh, going for deer first and then the berries. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't screw up his build order. We've seen on board steals that players tend to screw up their build order and then uh, suddenly have a lot of problems. I'm not sure if this sheep was taken intentionally. There's only one villager on it. And now the next deer is coming in, which is good for Eddie. He can take sheep and deer now. Uh, this should not happen. Let's see. Yeah, Eddie saw it in time. It's good for him getting farm up. Viper's map. Uh, let's go. That one now. Main gold very far to the front here, not too close to Eddie's base, but it's on the front as well, not too good. A second gold inside, but also forward. We have for Viper two extra golds in the back. There's the third gold in a pretty awkward position, actually. Not sure if he's seen it even. No, it didn't scout it. Um, just past it. You won't find it too soon, I guess. Uh, second stone is in the back and main stone is in the back, so he will be able uh, to get a castle up if he wants to, if he needs to. Uh, as the Vikings castle is not that important, but uh, for defensive purposes or for rushing and later on for traps, you want to get a castle up. And we have an extra stone on the map on the left side, uh, which is also trapped into the forest, not too easy to take. Mm, let's see if Viper could see... Uh, yeah, not seeing it yet, but he has sent a sheep. I hope he doesn't forget it. He needs the sheep back, actually. We we'll just get two more. Uh, use the sheep, uh, find your goals. That what he needs to do is close to both both the goals. Right now he's using scout and uh, trying to scout Eddie's map. You can see the main goal right now, which is good for Viper. He knows where it is. While Eddie scouting the back now, uh, hasn't sent too many sheep. Uh, Viper can see the gold. Mm, Eddie knows that Viper can see it, and Eddie going with the barracks, he will go, maybe even stables, um, as the Vikings you would expect, uh, uh, the archery range maybe, but uh, knowing Eddie we might see stable and knights, because it won't be a monk war, not sure yet, Viper now is sending the sheep back, and I'm interested to see, can he see the golds, no, he missed them, that's actually bad luck here, uh, by like two tiles maybe, not too good. Both players up to few age 26 population. Viper going market blacksmith, so he will go for a little bit of boom maybe. We might see monks or a siege workshop. And uh, now the scouts are fighting. 
Looks like Viper, Viper with the better end for himself. Let's see. And no, Eddie winning actually. Good job from Eddie. Uh, I don't know if it was luck or a skill. I never know that on the scout fights. Maybe somebody can tell me, can explain me, or can give me a link. And Eddie, yeah, going stable. Expected. He will have scouts out, maybe even knights. Not sure what he's planning to do. And where is his gold? He is with four villages in gold. Looks like he wants to go at least a few monks. And most likely a scout or two. Mm, got six, five, six farms now. Uh, six villagers on the berries. So knows we run out pretty soon, but he needs all the free food he can get. Double bedex horse color coming in for the Viper. Eddie should get horse color too. Hope he doesn't forget about it. I think it's a very important upgrade. Mm, he's a little bit low on food actually. He's got a good amount now. And Eddie is now scouting the Viper space. He can see the main gold, he can see the second gold, and by this time he knows oh, two golds are forward. Uh, for my opponent, if I can can take control of this area, we might I might have a big uh, opportunity here, and I might be able to push in. Let's see what Eddie is going to do. Actually, mm, scout is now coming out. Castle H being researched for Eddie. Where's the monastery coming up? Uh, no villages out. No, just three scouts. And uh, now he's sending two villages, getting a monastery outside. No, going for siege workshop first. Uh, first, actually, interesting. And while we're at it, monastery for viper. Let's see where the relics are now. We have one relic that's a little bit closer to the viper, and there's two on the left hand side. There's one closer to Eddie's space. That means I'm missing number five, and I'm not sure if I've seen it or yet. It's inside viper space, which is good for viper. I missed that one before, but viper will have one relic safe. Uh, and the others might be difficult to get. Uh, Eddie going aggressive. Siege workshop first and there are knights out. That means Eddie will go full aggression. Maybe even only one TC. Doesn't look like he's going for more at this point. He's still got this 200 stones. Or, uh, there is an option for him. Uh, but he doesn't have a market so we don't know if he would uh, sell the stone or not. Viper going with one TC on the main stone and... No more TCs right now. He needs more stone because he got an outpost and that one paid off already. Because mm, we can see Eddie with the Manganel. Viper got a siege workshop out and the Manganel uh, as well. Uh, Eddie reacting in time. Good micro here. Um, Viper's Manganel only on under half HP and uh, 10 HP left. Maybe 6 HP. Eddie going one for one and another one very injured. Viper needs to repair this Manganel if he wants to uh, fight it. Ram now coming out for Viper, uh, for Eddie but he needs another Manganel I think. And Eddie with the Monastery now should start and go for the relics as soon as he can. You want to have the relic gold. Viper going with more farms at this point. And another TC on the second stone as well. He has still not seen the golds. It's not good for Viper. He could send a monk later on maybe. Or if he's going for archers or anything. Or maybe an outpost would be an option as well. For now he cannot take the gold. And Eddie going for with the ram. Taking the first hit. Going back now, second hit on the ram, but Viper can see the Manganel is out. Let's see the micro from both players. The outpost is, is gone. Eddie getting the first relics in. Eddie still with no more TCs. Now staying on one here, using all the resources he gets to get military units out. He got 13 military units on the field. It's a few cavalry, a uh, few scouts, a few knights, and of course the Manganels. Good shot from Eddie. Viper not with the best micro here in this game. Got three monks out, but he can't convert siege. I think Vikings don't get redemption. And uh, Viper, in the meantime, booming while Eddie trying to get in. Eight villages, nine villages ahead now for Viper. Splitting the monks here, trying to get a conversion, maybe. Uh, the Manganels from Eddie are there now, and the ram will go through. There's three Manganels, a few knights still on the field. Let's see how Viper is going to react, if you're gonna see a few walls, or maybe... I think he might be able to defend the monks. On the other hand, Viper is on the main stone with five villagers. He is on the second stone with seven villagers. He wants to get a castle up. Mm, pretty sure about that. I'm not sure if he can uh, protect the main gold because Eddie now can go in four mangonels out. Nice shot from Viper. Look at this. That was brilliant. Uh, hitting the scout and while running. Knight's coming in, but Viper got the mangonels here. I'm going a little bit slower now to see Viper micro hitting the mangonel but not destroying it. Moving away. Mm, let's see where the monk is going. We've got one, two, three monks. Mm, nothing converted yet. Uh, can we see Viper losing a monk here? Almost losing the Manganel. No. Uh, wow, strong play from Viper. Converting two scouts. That's going to help him a lot because he can go for the Manganels now. And even if I hit one Manganel, Viper could chop here. 
Two Mangonels from Eddie still outside. The scouts now are moving towards the Mangonel. Only one monk from, from Eddie. Viper going back with the converted scouts. And going back with the Mangonel as well. We see a castle come up for Viper. Defensive position, but nice. Uh, make sure that the uh, Eddie cannot go through here. And the right side is a little bit unprotected. Uh, maybe it's gonna reinforce this somehow later on. Viper resources not looking too bad, but uh, he's missing gold because he didn't see those. Oh, he can see them now. He scalped the gold and he cannot just take his uh, main gold or a second. Third one outside. Did he see it by now? He can still not see a third gold, which is very bad for him. But the castle is up. Mang uh, Townsend might go down, but uh, Eddie's push won't go in that far now. Uh, Viper going with the Vandala villages towards the TC. Not sure he's planning. Mangonels, one for one, good job from, from Eddie actually, that's what you want to have when you have more Mangonels, destroy the opponents, if you lose your own, not too bad, and three Mangonels now hitting the TC from Viper, Viper resources looking strong, but he needs some gold income, and he is going with TC now on the golds, mining camp coming up, he's found the six gold piles in the, in the, the uh, back of space, that will help him a lot, Mangonel coming out, instantly shooting at Eddie's Mangonel, good job from Viper here, Swiper doing, he needs to sell resources for now to get gold in. Uh, he's got enough to get more mangonels. We're not doing that now in, at the moment. Uh, does he have monks? Yeah, two monks left. And for now, Eddie's push is kind of stopped because he can't go through the castle here. Mm, let's see, Eddie's resources looking very good. Eddie has gotten uh, three TCs in the meantime, but only 55 villages. He's clicked up to Imperial Age just now, so he's used his advantage at least a little bit. I think he's looking good because Imperial Age first for Eddie is going to help him a lot. And if he can get another castle up here, maybe in front of the gold and trapped uh, Viper's castle, it would be looking good for him. He may not do any mistakes now because we know Viper, very, very strong player, and there we go. Losing a Mangonel here for nothing. Good job from Eddie. Nice micro here. But Viper on 80 plus villagers going for barracks now. I think we might see archery range. And Arbalest would be a standard call for uh, for Vikings here. And maybe Onager. That would be an option for him as well. But first of all, he needs to get the gold back. And for now, Eddie pushing with the Mangonels, destroying the monastery, the market. I think Eddie should have the four relics in that were on the field. It's only three. Not sure which one he's missing, actually. Uh, he's missing the one on the far left. He can see it, but he's not going for it right now. Probably got uh, some other things to do. And a castle coming up for Eddie in front of the main goal. Very good spot for him. Wild Viper, of course, up into Pure Rage as well. Fletching coming in, and we can see Archer Range and the second castle. Interesting position, but same thing. He's protecting the entrance here in the TC. And uh, pretty nice layout for Viper here, actually. Mm, Archer Range is coming up. We'll go for Crossbow and we'll go for Boatkin. Eddie's castle a little bit late because he's up to Pure Rage, but can't get a trap out now. He's got enough wood. Mm, housed on 84. Five castle will be up any second and market monastery going down from Viper. Eddie taking the relic, the siege workshop will go down. Uh, Viper going for crossbowman, heavy plow coming in. Eddie for a strap out and a few archers as well, but totally upgraded. Mm, he should go for Onager probably, and that would be a very strong upgrade. I think Onager traps and a few crossbowmen. Uh, could be an option. For now he needs to trap the castles down. Viper with the advantage, having two castles, he can get double production from uh, of traps. And of course the lo uh, bigger eco, 30 villages ahead almost. And ballistics coming in for him while Eddie is doing crossbows. Traps out, one and one. Uh, Mangonels might uh, be able to hit the trap, but uh, plus three on the castle from range. Uh, Mangonels will go down. Second trap out for Eddie. Viper is still looking good, having a good eco. He's got enough space to boom if he needs it. A lot of villagers on the gold here. Uh, this might run out very soon, actually. 77, it might be um, 2k gold uh, maximum. And we can see Viper repairing the castle, Eddie repairing the traps here. It's two, three traps now for the Viper, three traps for Eddie as well. Another castle for Eddie in the front, making sure that Viper cannot take any of the golds. If Eddie can take the castles down, he uh, is, uh, would have a good um, advantage here. The university coming up, Fletching coming in for Eddie as well now, reinforcing the crossbowman. Making them stro stronger. Viper's castle is down and now Eddie should move forward with the Mangonels and destroy the traps. Uh, he's going for that instantly. Good job. Thumbring Leather Archer coming in for, for Viper. No Arbalest upgrade yet. And four traps now hitting the two here. 
Eddie going back to the mangonels. The traps even hitting the mangonels. One going down. Can he get a good shot? Eddie. Nice shot on the, uh, on the crossbow, but a good micro here from Viper at the same time. Arbalest now coming in. And Eddie has to go back. His push somehow stopped, uh, although he's in the score lead. And he's still in a very good position with 80 villagers against 107. Mm, Viper resource is looking good. He can get another cast. He's getting more traps out. He's got the Arbalest with almost fully upgraded. Missing chemistry and the uh, plus 4 defense upgrade. I think Vikings do get that. Uh, he's moving now towards the back here, getting more farms out. His eco looking very strong. Still does not see the gold as far as I know. No, he can't see it. That's actually quite sad. Uh, used to Viper see, uh, scouting being on top, but uh, doesn't really matter. Viper going for ramps and that might be a death, uh, death kick for Eddie because Eddie not going for any ramps or Onager. Instead going for Arbalest. I think the Onager upgrade would have been so powerful for Eddie. Mm, let's see how he is going to be able to compete here without the onagers and against the rams, which will be really hard. Now the traps from Viper on the left hand side, vault them in with the houses, I'm not sure if he can go through here. But the castle from Eddie might go down very soon, Eddie's not preparing it, he does not have the stone to do so. Viper is also still looking good, he's got a lot of gold now in the bank. Uh, but it's running out here. I think he will use the rest of the gold maybe for the rams. There are two rams out versus the siege workshops. More rams coming in. Yeah, he's kept ram. And let's see if he's going for siege ram first. Elite skirmisher is done for Viper as well. I think he's gonna skip the chemistry upgrade for now. Eddie going for the gold from Viper, but it's very trapped inside and the mining camp not really good. Should have uh, moved one tile ahead, uh, away. A mm, lot of idle villages now for Eddie. Mm, the ramps moving forward on the traps, and the traps are, I'm not sure, yeah, unpacking. And Viper now might be the deciding fight here, Elite Skirmishes and Arbor as the traps are hitting. And we can see the ramps moving forward, oh, Eddie's gonna lose so many traps. He's only got one mangonel here, hitting the ramp, but there's two traps down already. Another man, wow, four traps, and the last one will go down as well. That's not look good for Eddie's, and that onage upgrade would've been so important if he had the onages here. But only mangonels, chemistry coming up for both players. And now the ramps on the cast. Eddie calling GG at this point. Uh, very, very strong push from Eddie, but Viper managed to survive. Without the two goats in the back, uh, this map would have been horrible and he wouldn't have survived this, I think. But with the gold and being able to defend with the castles long enough to get enough eco and arbalist elite skirmishes. The rams were the difference in the end. Why, uh, Eddie losing so many traps and it was so so hard to watch actually. Eddie resources looking strong at this point but I think Onager might have been a really really good option for him. Against arbalist elite skirmishes and even the rams Onager would have made such a big difference. Uh, didn't happen. I think Viper with a very, very good game. He's on um, top level right now and on top of his game. Mm, very impressive defense here. Eddie calling GG at this point because he knows Viper will over, uh, run over me now. Uh, does have a good eco, but not the best eco. Did he find the gold in his bag? I'm not sure. I can't see it anymore. Uh, I think the scout was there. Though. He should have seen the gold. So still deciding to go for Vipers. Not sure why. But at this point, he lost the game. I hope you enjoyed this game one here, and we're gonna see three more games because we'll set four games between Viper and Eddie. I hope you enjoyed this, and see you next game. GG.